Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway, I'm the author of several Tudor history books and I also run the Tudor Society and Anne Boleyn Falls websites. And I'm taking you back to the reign of that iconic king, uh, King Henry VIII, for On This Day in Tudor History, the 11th of May 1537, Two Carthusian monks from the London Charter House were hanged in chains from the battlements in the city of York. Blessed John Rochester and Blessed James Woolworth had been tried in the city for treason for denying the king's supremacy because, of course, King Henry VIII had made himself supreme head of the church in England. And they'd been tried following the Pilgrimage of Grace Rebellion, which of course took place in late 1536. Now, they weren't the only uh, Carthusian monks to be punished. Uh, they, um, there were 18 Carthusian monks who suffered in a five-year period between May 1535 and August 1540, all being put to death for the crime of treason. Some of them were hanged, drawn and quartered. Some of them were hanged in chains, like these two men, and others were starved to death in prison. All 18 of these Carthusian monks are recognised as martyrs by the Catholic Church, and they were beatified by Pope Leo XIII in the 19th century. So that's why we put blessed in front of their name, because they were beatified. Now, Letters and Papers, which is the, uh, the archive of letters, dispatches, documents from King Henry VIII's reign, has the following record of the deaths of these men. So I'm going to read it out to you. In 1535, 18 of the Charter House were condemned for defending the liberty of the church. Seven of them, viz. John Houghton, Robert Lawrence, Austin Webster, Humphrey Middlemore, William Exnew, Sebastian Newdigate and William Horn were drawn on hurdles through the city of London to the open place of execution and there hanged, quartered, etc. Three of them, Humphrey, William and Sebastian, had stood in prison upright, chained from their necks to their arms and their legs fettered with locks and chains for 13 days. Their quarters were hanged on the gates and walls of the city and on the gate of the Charter House. Two of the 18, John Rochester and James Woolworth, two we're talking about today, remained hanging. The other nine died in prison with stink and miserably smothered, the which were these that follow. The London Charter House's Carthusian order was an order known for its sanctity, so their support for the king's supremacy would have been a real coup for King Henry VIII and Thomas Cromwell. But when they were approached, uh, taking the oath recognising the king's supremacy, and after praying about the matter for three days, the orders prior, John Houghton, stated that he could not take the king to be supreme head of the church. This, of course, was a huge blow for the king and their resistance, their disobedience, their defiance had to be punished as an example to other orders and, of course, to the English people at large. I just find it so very sad that these men had to die and in such brutal ways for standing firm to their faith and convictions. I mean, I see their treatment, their executions as a real low point, and there's quite a few low points, but as a real low point in the reign of King Henry VIII. Um, I just, ugh, just to, to kill these men of God and to, in such brutal ways, and then to display their remains on their own, on their own monastery, on their own charter house, and oh, just, just awful. So it's worth remembering these uh, Carthusian monks uh, with respect and sort of paying tribute to them. By the way, London Charter House um, is a wonderful place to visit in London. 
Um, it used to be that you could go and visit it uh, if you booked like a private tour and that, but now they've actually made a museum and it's open to the public and it's just a wonderful place to visit. So much history there connected uh, to obviously these these martyrs, but uh, also to the uh, Black Death and the plague. Uh, it's just an amazing place to visit, so I do recommend you visiting it. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with another Tudor history event for you. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.